Welcome to Picking Principles. Uh, today we're going to attempt to gut and repin, just to show you the process of this five pin Sparrows practice lock. But I first wanted to show these right here. These are the ones that came with the repinning kit. Um, they are, of course, so that you can pin these differently and have a key. But what I didn't know, and I should have because it says it in the description, is that they're set with the bidding. So this is a low to high bidding. Notice it's progressive and the key steps down, the cuts get deeper as you move along. So it gives you practice on low high. This one is, sorry, that's a high to low. This one's low to high, difficult to see. This one they call a high rake or something like that. So it looks like they're all pretty much the exact same height. So I don't know that that's gonna be, you know, either fun to pick or like raking is not fun. And uh, this is six pin. So they say that all of their, and it comes with the extra spring, they say that all of their locks, so you can see six little pins in there. All their locks are six pin, like drilled for six pins. So we're gonna find out. Remove this end cap. Nope, I think I might need the key in there to prevent it from spinning. Oh no, I got it. So there's the retaining pin and the little spring for that. Put them in the last slot. And I should be able to pull off. I'm gonna need the key anyway. This end cap now. Send that follower through. Don't want to lose any of my key pins. Ah. Didn't have my plug turned the right way. Look, there's a pin in there. So let's put this, <laughs> let's put this down. And I guess we'll reverse gut it. So that's gonna be driver pin one, I hope. Nope. There's a pin. So let's just put this one up in no man's land for a moment. Now, as this is a practice lock, I expect them all to be just standard pins. Oh, there's a... Four. And obviously then, I don't want to tip it and have the springs pop out. So just leave it sit there. Obviously, then that's five. So all standard pins, I'll show you them later. All standard pins, uh, same length it looks like. Pull out that key and let's dump our key pins. Come on in here. There's one flipped upside down. I'll rearrange them in a minute. Two, three, four. <laughs> Every one of them is rolling. And five. Okay, right after I orient these, we're gonna zoom in just to show you these pins. I'll put the key next to it too, see if we can learn something. Okay. So let's zoom right into these pins. 
And uh, we can see that the bidding is not all that different. Uh, number five is a really high cut, so we have a short pin. Number three is a low cut, so the pin is a little bit longer. And uh, number one and two appear to be about the same. Maybe, yeah, they are the same, it looks like. So is three, actually. So really, only pin, sorry, four. Pin three and pin one are really the ones that are different lengths. Okay, so now I'm going to try and put it back together. I haven't seen too many videos online of reassembly. So we're going to start. dropping these in. So I'm going to start from the back, obviously. I don't have any good light. I can't see what I'm doing. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Nope. I'm going to have to get a flashlight in here. So I'll have to repin this another time. Well, thank you for watching um, Picking Principles. Please subscribe, and if you have any comments, leave them below. Thank you, and have a nice day.